What's up everybody? I'm here at Maple Mountain HQ, otherwise known as my parent's shed. Uh, and today I'm gonna answer some of the most common questions that we get asked. How many cans do they hold? How much ice do they hold? Do they fit bottles standing up? How many bottles do they fit standing up? In this video, I'm gonna answer all those questions and give you a little run around with the prototypes. So first we'll start off with the Rocky 12 soft cooler. Uh, I'll get rid of these and then I'll show you around this one first. So first we're gonna start off with testing out how many bottles we can fit inside these coolers. So first off, we're gonna start with the Rocky 12 and we're gonna try and put some bottles in here. Um, and just a full disclaimer, uh, right now the engineers in Ottawa have the gaskets. So what you guys see on the inside of here uh, is not what the real ones are gonna look like. The real ones are gonna have a gasket. Right now in, in this particular one, there's duct tape inside. But yeah, let's uh, put these uh, inside the cooler and see how many we can fit. All right, so we can fit 12 bottles standing completely tall, uh, and I'm gonna pull up my phone here and show you guys what I'm looking at because I only have the one camera. So as you can see here, uh, it fits 12 bottles like super nicely, and there's even a ton of room left over around the border of, and, uh, and there's tons of room on the inside as well for ice. So each cooler was actually designed around uh, the can. Uh, so each one is labeled as either the 12, the 18, or 20. Uh, what that means is the 12 can hold 12 cans of beer with two thirds of the room left over for ice uh, and vice versa for the 18 and the Rocky Rucksack 20. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the cans in. Uh, so as you guys can see here, we've got 12 cans in here all lined up super nicely and there's tons of space on the inside for ice. Honestly, it's just super, super satisfying to see all the cans in here lined up like that. All right. Uh, so that was probably about, whoops. All right, so these are just standard bags of ice. They're three kilograms or, or I think it's like six and a half pounds, something like that. Um, and this one with the recommended 12 cans held about one and a half bags of ice. So I don't know the math uh, and you just have to clamp down on it and then give it a good twist. So yeah, now that we've got the Rocky 12 covered, uh, I guess I can show you guys just, you know, maybe a little 360 around the prototype. Um, here's a little spinneroo. Um, all sides have the molly strap, um, which is super awesome and really functional. Like even if you want to get uh, you know, an extra one of our dry bags. You could always put it on the back of here if you did need that extra kind of storage. Uh, and the molly straps are awesome for, you know, like hanging on to speakers and carabiners and, you know, all that fun stuff. But yeah, let's get the Rocky 12 out of here and let's move on to the Rocky 18. Um, we'll start off with the bottles again and then we'll go to the cans and then we'll fill it up with ice. All right, guys, so we were able to fit Okay, so as you guys can see, we have, you know, 18 beers nicely standing tall. And again, just like the last cooler, there is tons of room in here for ice. Like, you know, even shut, uh, as you guys can see here, it completely shuts and you can twist down on the winch. Um, we really did design these around the bottles and the cans. Uh, so they just fit so, so satisfyingly perfect <laughs> uh, in each one of these coolers, which is awesome. Uh, and one of the more common questions that we also get asked, can you still use the cooler without twisting the vise? Um, and the answer is yes, you can still carry it, use the handles without twisting it. Um, it was designed so, you know, if you wanted to have the maximum ice retention and the waterproof seal, you just give it a quick twist. But if you wanted the quick grab and go, you don't really care about how long the ice needs to last. You just want something, you know, quick. It was designed that way and I can just demonstrate it here as well. There is bottles in here. I don't know if the camera can see it, but this thing is full of bottles. Um, and even if you don't twist the vise, uh, you can still carry it by just the, the handles. It's really heavy. Um, and then even if, you know, I want to go crazy with it, you can just flip it over too, just to show. All right, and you can just give it a good shake too. And you know, nothing, that's probably making a mess inside the cooler, but it does, it does work. All right, uh, so now let's go to the cans and then we'll do the ice. All right, so I've got all the cans in here and now I'll give you guys a quick look, see on the inside. So as you can see here, just like the bottles, um, it completely fits 12 cans, nice and neat. And then there's tons of room left over for, uh, for the ice. Again, we designed these completely around the cans in the bottle. So if you fill this up with the recommended amount of cans, which in this case, the Rocky 18, we want you to put 18 beers in here uh, and there's two thirds of room left over for ice. Uh, and now I guess we can demonstrate with, uh, with the ice. So let's grab it. All 
All right, so now it's completely full. It looks like we got about two bags, almost almost like two and a half bags out of it. Um, again, these are just standard three kilogram or like six and a half pound bags that you can just get at like your local grocery store. Also, I'll give you guys just a little 360 of the prototype as well for anyone that's curious. Um, just like the other one, each side has all the molly straps and whatnot so you can attach so many different accessories and even like our own dry bag. Uh, if you wanted an extra one, you could always put it on the back there if you needed extra storage for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, that is the Rocky 18 with a bunch of ice and beers ready to go for a weekend trip. And now let's go to the 20. So as you guys can see here, we got 10 bottles in here standing up, uh, just two rows of five. Now let's do the, uh, the cans. All right guys, so as you can see here, uh, we actually have uh, stacks of five. So we have two rows of five and then stacked, uh, which brings us to a total of 20 cans, which is exactly uh, the way that this was designed. Uh, and we've got a ton of room left over here for uh, the ice. Uh, and uh, let's see how much we can put in this bad boy. All right guys, so it looks like for this one, uh, we got just shy of three bags um, and it's completely full uh, with just shy of three bags. And just for the sake of the video, um, I'll also demonstrate with this one that uh, as much as you can twist the vise to give yourself a, a waterproof seal, um, you don't have to do that. And it's still fully capable of using it um, without twisting the vise. You can still you know, use it by the handles and whatnot. Just like that, it's really heavy, so I'm not gonna bother going crazy with it, but um, I guess I can give you guys you know, maybe a little bit of uh, a walk through with it. So there's molly straps on every side, pretty much. This one goes almost top to bottom. Um, and then on the back, you've got your strap, um, and then you've also got your, uh, your waist straps, which are in fact removable. Um, it was a widely requested feature to have these things be removable just because um, a lot of people might not use them and whatnot, especially if you're going to like uh, just a quick backyard barbecue um, and you know you're not going to be like hiking with this thing. You don't, you don't need the extra support. Uh, you can just take these things right off. Um, and then on the other side, so yeah, as you can see here, um, we have the water bottle holder and then we also have the one molly strap. Um, we had enough room for the molly strap, so we just said, you know, why not? We'll throw it in there. Um, we're, we're sure some people are gonna get some functionality out of that. So uh, I hope this answers all of your questions uh, and makes your decision a little bit easier when it comes to deciding which size you want. So thanks for watching.